Disney has stunned Marvel fans by firing James Gunn as director of Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3. The change in creative direction, which was announced during the peak of Comic-Con International, was reportedly made due to inflammatory and controversial content that resurfaced from years ago on the filmmaker's Twitter account. It's believed that Gunn's old tweets included jokes about controversial topics such as pedophilia and rape. Advertisement, continue writing Bello a spokesperson for Disney said on Friday, July 20, the offensive attitudes and statements discovered on James's Twitter feed are indefensible and inconsistent with our studio's values, and we have severed our business relationship with him. On Twitter, Gunn wrote to fans, Many people who have followed my career know when I started, I viewed myself as a provocateur, making movies and telling jokes that were outrageous and taboo. As I have discussed publicly many times, as I've developed as a person, so has my work and my humor, he added, it's not to say I'm better, but I am very, very different than I was a few years ago, today I try to root my work in love and connection and less in anger. My days saying something just because it's shocking and trying to get a reaction are over, in a statement subsequent to his firing, he said, my words of nearly a decade ago were, at the time, totally failed in unfortunate efforts to be provocative. I have regretted them for many years since, not just because they were stupid, not at all funny, wildly insensitive, and certainly not provocative like I had hoped, but also because they don't reflect the person I am today or have been for some time, advertisement, continue reading below, regardless of how much time has passed, I understand and accept the business decisions taken today. Even these many years later, I take full responsibility for the way I conducted myself then, all I can do now, beyond offering my sincere and heartfelt regret, is to be the best human being I can be, accepting, understanding, committed to equality, and far more thoughtful about my public statements and my obligations to our public discourse. To everyone inside my industry and beyond, I again offer my deepest apologies. Love to all, Gunn served as co-writer and director on Guardians of the Galaxy and Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2. In April 2017, he confirmed he would be returning to write and direct the third installment, and later teased it would be the epic conclusion of the story started in Volume 1. In January, he announced on Twitter that Volume 3 was set to arrive in 2020, although Marvel never confirmed the release date. Chris Pratt later revealed that filming was scheduled to begin next year. While the events of Avengers, Infinity War have thrown everything up in the air, main cast members Pratt, Zoe Saldana, Dave Bautista and Bradley Cooper are, somehow, someway, all expected to return. As for the film's plot, Gunn told Variety last April, I think the third movie is going to continue this trilogy, the story of this iteration of this Guardians of the Galaxy team. I think it's going to do it in a big way, I think we're going to come to an epic conclusion of who the Guardians are. and why they were brought together, and I can't wait to tell that story to the people, it will be the final movie in this iteration of Guardians of the Galaxy, yes, Gunn added. Who knows who will take up the mantle after that, Gunn had been expected to be at Sony's Comic-Con presentation today, July 20th, however, the Hollywood Reporter cites insiders as saying he is now not expected to attend. Want up to the minute entertainment news and features? Just hit like on our Digital Spy Facebook page and follow on our Digital Spy Instagram and Twitter account.